Welcome back to another episode of Slime World Podcast. I'm Lil Boy Rock. I'm Ye, a.k.a. Mr. Fuck These Brands. I'm Solo. I feel like he was about to say, like, an AKA or something at the end of that. Because uh, normally, it's that nigga. And I then know. He goes, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, you, then, yeah. Anyways, all right. Cut, the, cut the malarkey. Welcome back to another episode. And this is going to be a conversation that's going to be out of this world. I know. Everything is discombobulated. It's not normal. We are not normal. I am an alien. I am a Marsh. All right, come on. I'm done with the jokes. Um, that was a good dragon. Blazing. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, alright, so look We're not doing another We're not doing a Hot or Not Because clearly there is no music to talk about Her loss <laughs> Okay um, But look, this is what we do got uh, We got this first um, First topic, which is uh, Basically I'll explain for those that don't know But I'll also explain to you if you don't know as well Because we talked off camera um, so there was two people, Almighty Suspect, which is a podcast member of No Jumper and the Monday show. And then we have Kelpie, which is a white boy that is portraying to be a pimp. Um, apparently Kelpie went on an episode with another uh, podcast member. It's Sharp, Sharp and Almighty. And, and both of them started ganging up on Kelpie because they was like, you really not with the life. So you were lame, you were cornball. They yeah. disrespected him, long story mm-hmm. short. I wasn't going to say too many words but that. Um, but I love how you chimed in right there. That's teamwork, and it make the dream work. So basically, Adam <laughs> it re-invited <laughs> Kelpie to come back, have a discussion with Almighty. They start having a conversation. Almighty, he's on some hothead stuff. So he starts... No, 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 no. You're not going to do that. <laughs> Almighty, Almighty got in a conversation with Kelpie. Mind you. Kelpie is portraying to be a pimp. So, Kelpie, long story short, disrespects Almighty multiple times throughout the conversation. The interview is only nine minutes. How he and he says, he, what? How he disrespect him? Prior to being on the episode. Okay. That's okay. why he got brought on through New Jumper. Okay, okay. So, he gets on there. He's been talking his shit for some time now. He gets on there. Adam is hoping that he can amend whatever is going on. But Kelpie calls him a bitch. And he calls him a bitch three times. The first bitch... What? Uh, Almighty Suspect says, what okay, you say? I have, a, I have a question for y'all. I have a question for y'all, right? You're arguing with someone. And you say, hey, stop talking to me, bitch. Right? And they can say, what you call me? What's your next move? Spam A. Bitch, 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 bitch. <laughs> I'm talking about real life. <laughs> yeah, we're not talking about I'm those talking screen. About if somebody life. say, if somebody no. say that exact word and That's get the why, uh, bitch. No, no, I no, no, no. I'm not. I'm you not talk talking about. You, talk talking about, about talk- you say stop talking to me, bitch, and the other nigga say what you just called me. Oh, I'm ready to fight. The minute I call you, the minute I call any, the minute I call any man out his name, out his name, I'm ready for the repercussions. <laughs> With a two piece combo, <laughs> I will give him the case okay. of the beat. So, so when the, when the other person says, "What you just call me?" You know that timing is arrived. Correct? But the minute the word left my mouth, the timing is already yeah. there. Okay, okay. It's not even a second where I gotta react. Cause why? Why am I about to react to him? So, okay. The reason I bring it up is because if you watch the video, because I watched it like today, is. The moment this man said, what you call me? He I said, he said, said he wasn't aware. He said it again. Exactly. He was not aware. No, he was not aware. As soon as he, he was up, he said. <laughs> Dude, he never, he's never been in a fight before. He should have knew. He should have knew what time it was. The moment he said, repeat it for me. Matter of so fact. I, I know what to do to Matter of fact, he's never even disrespected a black person before. Let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> Because I ain't gonna lie, any black male that is getting disrespected outside of his name, you know, those are the first monkeys that want to throw the first punch. <laughs> I'm saying the Pretty amount bad. of bigotry that happens from a black male, the only thing they spew out their mouth is hate, violence, and just things that don't matter to society. <laughs> it's just <laughs> shut up. <laughs> all right, look, 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 all I'm saying is, 
Yo, if if I'm a if I'm a I don't care what age I am, you know what I'm saying, from from a toddler, it's not even about color. From a toddler to a grown man, bro, anybody call you outside your name and you know what I'm saying, says it it has the balls to say it first like face to face, you know what I'm saying? Shit had the balls to receive the combo that's about to come and bless their chin. You know what I'm saying? Okay, real real conversation, right? Uh this is my perspective, so I'm not putting on nobody. Almighty corn. Because he already was on time, and it don't matter what that nigga said. He was waiting for it. He was waiting to hear a bitch. Can I add? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. And then Adam, corny as hell, that nigga, as soon as that shit happened, that nigga posted the clip on his own Twitter, and he said, hey, guys, look what happened on my dying YouTube channel. All right, that's that's the comments you have to make? All right, let me, let me, let me, let me, the fact, call me the fact checker. All right, go ahead. Call me the fact checker. First of all, that altercation happened three weeks in advance. They didn't post about it because they were worried about getting sued. So they didn't want to get sued. And, and Adam wanted to make sure that he wasn't liable for it. Where did so, you about this? I'll reveal all my sources at the end. Um, and then Adam uh, was actually begged by Kelpie. Kelpie begged Adam to put the clip out and signed a waiver saying that I can't sue you after the clip goes viral. So I want you to know that. Um, and then Almighty being corn or like you said... Or whatever. Like I said, um, what you didn't know... Okay. Well, no, 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 no. What you didn't know was Kelpie, after the interview that he went with Sharp and Almighty, he went with the gang members, got a gang member, a certified stepper, to be his manager. And then when he got in the building, that day, he was feeling different. Like when 6 9 was yelling, Trey was pressing him. Huh? He was pressing him. He wasn't pressing him. He came, he came with a different energy that day. That's why he was talking. That's why he said, I'm going to call this man out his name. Because he came with a different energy. Because them, them steppers was with him. So I'm just going to give you the facts. So the steppers were with him. And then he said, I'm, I'm going to beat this nigga ass in front of these niggas. Um, who, was the steppers was with who? I'm talking about the steppers was with Kelpie. Right. The steppers was the steppers was with Kelpie said, man, and and acting time. acting as a management. His management or the guy that was the stepper, at the end of the video, you hear him reprimanding Kelpie. Kelpie yeah, I know. Because at the end of the day, you don't come in and disrespect another grown man and don't think it's repercussions with it. Yeah. So why would he step in and touch Almighty when Almighty's not in the wrong? So therefore I got to say. The verdict is, Kelpie, no, you wait, are the cornball. What I said Almighty was, spelled, Almighty suspect, you are a real N-word. All I was and saying, Adam, you're just a white man that is doing his job. All I was saying was that Almighty was on time and he was waiting to get disrespected. That's all I'm saying. Anybody would be, if they was getting harassed on the internet by a white boy trying to be an internet gangster for days on end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, so, I mean, it's on site. If I, if I see you, let's, I'm going to ask you a question. If somebody's on that, or somebody on the internet talking crazy to you, and you tell somebody like, "Yo, it's on site when I see you," and then you get put in a, a situation where they, where your boss tells you, "Yo, it's not on site. You gotta chill out," and you're like suppressing it on you, you suppressing the on site feeling, and then somebody gives you a reason to reenact the on site, you're not holding back. Yeah, I guess uh, based off of your uh... and and if you want me to give you more more, no, uh, I really don't need oh, it. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> the fact. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I it's I still feel a certain type of way about the shit. But if niggas, if if it's backstory behind the scenarios, and that's why the scenario played out, then I guess it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Niggas facts. Okay, now we got. Let's move on to the next topic real quick. Um, we just got DDG. And uh, OT Genesis, long story short, OT Genesis put that boy DDG to sleep, gave his ass the 3 1 4 lock combo. Let's go. Look, all I'm saying is, do you? This is my real question about it because you know, for those that know and those that don't, do your due diligence because I'm not about to explain it. Um, do you think that OT Genesis sleeping? Uh, DDG with the hate maker. Does that make DDG look like a hoe? No. OT Genesis is a cornball. <laughs> okay, so now I gotta give this man the facts because we not finna do that. So OT Genesis, he threw a party. 
during quarantine. Okay. Two Look years ago. I know the facts on this one. So so okay. two years ago. So there there they got all the homies at the party and homies is keyword for gang members. Uh it's that's what the house is full of. Just real N words, you know what I'm saying? And so they 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 make a, they get security. That's they t- no, 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 continue, yeah, yeah. Continue, continue, continue. yeah. So they get security. They they basically say, "Yo, this is a party. This is L. A. People come still. So we got security. Make sure nobody goes in these rooms. It's off limits. Make sure the attendees stay at the party." DDG end up going using the bathroom because no, 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 no. DDG, you know, he tried to get a little slick one in, you know. Laid them cheeks down. DDG you feel me? wanted to go use the bathroom. Yo. The security told him to go use the bathroom. Yo, 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 yo. Stop interrupting me, bro. Because I'm not about to how I'm not about to have you give me the, the DDG story. Because it's already been proven that it's capped. So I don't want to hear no details that sound like DDG done told the internet. So I'm you, giving you the facts right you, now. Wait, what side are you on? I'm not choosing a side, bro. I'm I'm choosing a you know what side I'm on? God side. Question. And you know what comes with God? Truth, and oh. you know what? What, it, what the truth is? DDG was not nineteen when he got knocked out. DDG was about twenty three. This was two years ago. This was during so quarantine. Can I give you the fact checks? Can I give you the fact checks? Can I give you the fact checks? Uh, in order for you yeah. to give me the fact checks, you have to tell me where your where your source is. Uh, DDG himself. That's what I just told you, bro. I don't want to hear nothing. Listen. No, 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 no. Listen not to DDG. this. It's not listen DDG to this. himself. Niggas listen. actually went and go looked up the evidence to figure listen. out the shit. Listen to this. What your evidence is, is a video about what? About what age? <clears throat> he made the video saying that he got jumped at OT party six years ago. That's not true. That's not true. How, how is it not true? AD is a real N-word, bro. And he's gonna give his side of the story, Nigga, bro. What that he... was false, boy. Bro, what are you talking about, bro? That was false, bro. Ad Ad wasn't Ad wasn't nowhere near podcasting two years ago. When yes, he... he was, nigga. What? <laughs> Ad two years ago was heavy, no jumper. Quarantine, heavy, no jumper. Now. What really happened was DDG went to the party, 19 years old. OT invited him to the party. He go to you. He want to use the bathroom. Security told him, go over here. Some shorty was like, hey, someone in your room. He come out. OT over there acting tough. Woo, woo, woo. And then he's like, yo, what you doing in my room? He's like, nigga, I, I make millions. Nigga, what the fuck would I have to steal from you for? And then what happened? OT punch him, knock him out. Niggas, they take off his jewelry and then put it in his pockets, bro. N words are N words, bro. That that coon, that hooligan, that coon was crazy. <laughs> are you? So you're at his YouTube channel, and he's basically. Why don't you just look up DDD got jumped? Because I don't need I don't need to go to your source. I need to fact check the word that you just said. Yeah, exactly. So the video will show up in the search and you go on his channel and go check so it out. So I'm going to go to DDG to fact check DDG. How are you finding it? Yo, oh, what was the most important yeah. thing that he said? Important thing? Yeah. What do you mean? What was the most important thing that you just said? Out of? Out of all that you said. Pertaining to the whole scenario? Yep. Was that OT invited him. No, no, no. He came. What did you say about AD? About AD? Yep. Uh, he said he, he was heavy. He said he was heavy on no jumper two years ago, right? Yeah. Quarantine, right? What year is it? Two. Twenty twenty. Mm-hmm. Twenty twenty. You said it. You said you said DD. You said you said DDG got all the facts. So so when you tell me that AD. Has been on no jumper heavy during quarantine. Let's fact check it. Is so that that's what we got to do right now. I'm not checking DDG. I don't need to go to the lies. So and I, I, look, I went straight to the source. I went to no jumper. Yes, your no face has so much. The source, nigga. 
No, Jumper is not the source. So if it happens to one person in this story and AD telling the story and DDG telling the mm-hmm. story, yeah. I won't believe one person over the other person. Yeah. <laughs> if yeah. something happened to you and yeah. he tell me the story, he telling me part of the story. Yeah. If you tell me the story, <laughs> oh, that's a hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, we can go on to the next. No, story. we not going out of shit. Check this out, brother. You told me that hey, AD was in No Jumper Heavy. So that's the only piece of the story that I have to fact check. Go, was go, 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 was go, 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 AD? Fact check. Okay. Okay. What? Okay. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to let you know. I'm trying to I'm trying to get I'm trying to get the uh that time period. June. We are in May. You you see this right here? Due to COVID, our interview schedule has slowed down considerably. So we're 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 peak pandemic. Oh, let's go. We're in May. Okay, okay. Let me see the screen. This is no jumper. Where I'm looking for AD on the thumbnails. Yeah. Yeah, cause cause he was cause he was there two years ago. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so look, so look. Podcast. Yeah. This this is the podcast. No, the no jumper podcast. No jumper podcast? Yeah, I'm talking about the Tuesday show. There wasn't a Tuesday show back then, brother. Can I see this? <laughs> I, I will. I will let you see it in a second. But I want. I want you to know this is their old studio. This is the. This is the old studio. This is April. Okay. Can I? January, see, can February, I March, April, June. Okay. So I went too ahead. So that means I have to scroll up a little bit more. During this period of time, this is Adam. This is Adam. This is house phone. This is Cam Girl. That's two years. This ago. is Redacted Girl. That's two two years ago, right? Yes. Okay. This is Redacted Girl. Okay, this is the now, old cast, mind you. AD didn't come. What, a, this is twenty twenty. This is twenty twenty. What year? What this month? is twenty twenty. What, what month? This is May. That's May. Yes. June. Uh, January, February, March, April, June, July, May. I don't know if that goes like that, but so what? What is it? No. no. I'm trying to. I was trying to give all the facts. And this is what no, I'm about to have you tell. So when does AD come in? When does AD come in? Yeah. After. AD starts after June. Of a- what after year? 2020. Okay, nigga. You, wait, wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Don't okay, nigga, me. You just told me that, uh, that, you just told me that AD was a part of No Jumper six years ago. We got it on camera. No. Who? I said the, I said the incident happened to DDG six years ago. AD was so, not at so, No Jumper six years ago. So check this out. I'm trying to give you the facts, and you went and you you gave me. You all said the, that DDG here we go. was a liar. Here we and go. That it happened two years here ago. Here we go. Go ahead. You you keep interrupting me. Go ahead. Go with ahead. the facts from DDG. Go ahead. And and DDG story is not adding up. How? If you let me talk and you had let me finish, ahead, you wouldn't ahead. have never came through with this go narrative. Ahead, ahead. I don't need you to have DDG's reaction and all the facts from DDG. DDG is, is a wannabe rapper that wants to make sure that his street cred is not vandalized. You're not even a street rapper, bro. So let's, let's, let's really talk about it right now. So look, that. here's the thing. According to AD, OT Genesis... Nobody knew who DDG was at the time of the party. So when he went to the party, there was no invitation. OT Genesis, at the crib that they threw that party, he had been throwing at least six to seven parties at that actual location. During that time, OT Genesis had people lining up to go to his parties. OT Genesis parties were an actual thing in LA. So during this period of time, DDG being as lit as he was and being in LA, the cool thing to go to is an OT Genesis party. OT Genesis did not invite you. Everyone had the address if you know the right person and you could pull up. No fee to get in. So now let's really talk about the facts since you want to talk about it. I've been on this No Jumper, po- this no Jumper podcast trying to show you, trying to show you that during this time period. And I'm, I, I actually watched No Jumper during this time. AD was not a part of No Jumper. Any did not come to No Jumper until a little later so, after so, this. Let uh, me continue because I'm still with the facts, my buddy. Okay. So look. Stick to the keys. Check it out. So when in, in 2020, in June, when DDG came to that party, he got, he, he, he got lights out. 
when he got when he when, during this period of time, like I said, with the facts of OT Genesis having these parties, and you know what, you know the difference between rappers being lit and being friends. Nobody in the industry is friends, bro. So so all that OT Genesis inviting me, cap, cap. OT Genesis don't even really know you for real. And and y'all look, y'all maybe on the camera smiling, shaking hands, but y'all not really friends. Cap. And and you know firsthand, because you know what, you know how rappers, especially just locally, be. So let me continue on with the story. And then on top of that, you got you got um you got him coming to this coming to the uh to the place. What happened was when DDG, he went to the room, he said, yo, uh, I know DDG. I mean, DDG said, yo, I know OT. I'm cool with him. The, the people said, oh, go ahead. Go to that room. He tried to sneak a girl in the room because they either came to the room because they wanted to capture an intruder. They got no reason to come to the room applying pressure if somebody ain't stealing. If you know DDG, why would you apply pressure to him? Now, let me continue on with the story. So now that they're going to the room, they thought that DDG was an intruder. If you know DDG, why you ain't have a civil conversation? AD, the peacemaker, didn't have a conversation? Cap. So let's continue on, right? And AD has been in multiple situations where he's been the mediator. So, yeah. So AD would do it if that was the case. Cap. Now let me continue. No, no, no. Let me continue. Let me continue. Let me continue, bro. So now off of that. Off of that alone, you have all those facts alone. Now they're in the room. OT Genesis says, yo, why you in here? DDG is drunk. He's overly drunk. And if you go watch the video, he said, yo, I thought 10 people snuffed me when I, I realized there was only one person. That means that you were drunk. You couldn't even tell what was going on in the room. Now let me continue on with the story. Now, when OT Genesis said, yo, why you in my room? The master room. Let's be honest. You got a crib, a brand new crib. Now, let me know. You got a party. If anybody goes in your guest room, you're not tripping. But if they go to your room with all the FTB, all your jewelry, all your everything, you come in in that room and you want to talk? Or you come in in that room to ready to bug up? Let me know. What you doing? Playing Scrabble. With their minds because you ready for the bug up. <laughs> Anyways, so now let's check it out. So look. OT Genesis says, yo, why are you in my master room? You're not supposed to be here. We got security, so you're not supposed to be in this. This is off limits. And on top of that, if you was going to take a girl in here, why you ain't in the other room? You got to pass three, four rooms before you get to the master room. So you made a conscious decision to say, let me go to the biggest room. Pipe on the biggest bed. So now OT Genesis is checking DDG. And what does DDG do? He bugs up because he's drunk. He puffs his chest out. Nigga, I got a million dollars, nigga. I'm rich, nigga. Why would I steal from y'all? But I got more money than everybody in this room. I've been doing this. I've been out here. Yo, you pop your shit like that to a gangster, he's going to put you in your place. Guess what happened next? Beep! DDG out. Lights out. So now what? They, they, you know, the homies, they, they, the, I mind you, there's all the gangbangers in the crib. That's why they took their chains off. That's why they took the chains off of DDG. Because they hungry, nigga. They from the trenches, nigga. Check it out. So, you know what? AD said, yo, we not finna do that. Let's just give him his jewelry. AD, the peacemaker, the mediator. The mediator. He puts the, he says, yo, put that jewelry back in his pockets. Send him on his way. They slap him. <laughs> DDG, wake up. DDG, wake up. They don't even know his name is DDG. They, Bro, wake up, wake up. You gotta go. <laughs> yo, yo. Yo, yo. What was this energy? Wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. What was this energy when you was just blazing about DDG? The car facts. Oh, I'm coming through with the car facts. My, my nigga, I just, you got me cursing, bro. Yo, 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 yo. yo. I didn't gave you all the car facts, which literally don't add up. Now, yeah, now this yeah, is too, now, no, no, look, bro. Look, bro. That was two years ago. Two years ago on OT Genesis' birthday. Look it up. Look it up. You can find all the information that you need. Look it up. It's all out there. Who now, check it, it out. Two years ago. Where's the party? Go to, go to OT Genesis' Instagram. Where'd you hear the go, to OT, go to OT Genesis' Instagram. I can do it. I can do it. No, 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 no. no. You're not answering the question, my boy. I heard the facts from AD himself. A, a, Where are my mans? He's... He, <laughs> yo, yo, yo. So, wait, so, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. Wait, 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 wait. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Yo, yo, it's crazy. It's crazy. 
Because once niggas come through with the narrative and it really pop and really pop that talk, really pop that talk. Now, now, now they glazing. Wow, wow. Now they glazing. Okay, now, now they glazing I, because I, I came through with the facts. And I, I'm, I'm trying response? to give you. The, I'm trying to give you the facts, right? So the party, the party that the party that this was at, is documented. Ot Genesis is in a suit. It's documented. Go to Ot Genesis Instagram right now. I'll do it. I'll do it if you really want me to. Do it then. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is what happened. I'm not, I'm not taking down those no, stories. No, 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 I'm not no, no, down no, bro. Story. no, bro. Because I'm actually talking about the points. Now let me talk, bro. I'm not even talking about the points, bro. I don't want to hear no. I don't want to hear no story. No accountability this from DG, This bro. is why the time. This is why the timeline matters. One, they said they these the people that you're rooting for. They said they didn't. Nobody knew who he was. Correct. Nobody knew who he was. Right. Nobody knew who he was. Right. He was still him. He's still him on his side. Nobody knows what he is. Nobody knows who he is. Oh yeah, I love those this. are two different. I love this. I love things. where this is going. So when when I, when OT sees somebody come out of his room yeah. and then bro starts popping his yeah. shit, yeah, I'm not gonna. Yeah, that is kind of weird. You is I I really don't. Even if I do know you and I, I'm not recognizing you off this in this moment because niggas OTS and you OTS. So at this moment, I I don't really. You know what I'm saying? So. If, if you popping your shit, of course, me being, and this is why I said he's corny because these niggas going straight to violence, but. Come on, yeah, bro. It's, what Come I'm on, bro. You talking about they corny because they the, going straight to violence. The like you wouldn't pop somebody. Fishy. Listen, listen. The Come scenario, on the scenario Come on is very fishy. I give that up. I give that up. Come I on give now. that up. The scenario is very fishy. To who? On whose part? And on DDG. Okay, then. Just okay, then, nigga. Listen, listen up. <laughs> what I'm saying is that. Still, DDG is a kid, and y'all trying to act tough to a kid. It is what it is, man. And and I love I that you brought that up. You know, this. you know what's so crazy? That now, now let's talk about it. So when you look, bro, it's kids outside in the streets. That's 13, 14, blowing them off, blowing, blowing brains out. Is you is you still a kid? You can kill somebody. You still a kid? Is that DDG? I'm 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 asking a question. I'm not talking about DDG right now. I'm asking a question. Uh, what if you can go kill is somebody, is it, are you not doing grown man things? Yeah. What you're so what I'm saying is, me. I'm saying is, yo, you could keep it a honey. You what? No, you talking about twenty three as a kid? Nigga, that shit happened six years ago. That shit. Oh, you st- so you sticking with the story? Ago, you sticking bro. with the story? Okay, okay. You, you stuck on stupid. Niggas talking about they. <laughs> people you are, talking stupid. About, are are talking about Carfax, right? Mm-hmm. AD said nobody knew who he was, and that happened like two years ago or something. When he said that, when he said that, DDG got an actual video talking about the scenario. When did the video come out? I don't want to check those car yo, facts. Exactly, boy. Yo. So we can, we you can, think we niggas can, in the hood yeah. was on YouTube? That's not why it, I DDG, <laughs> DDG. I just so when you said that DDG is already popping, he's already who he is. So niggas in the hood on YouTube. Because because before before uh, before AD got to No Jumper, he's just a regular street nigga, regular street nigga. And he was a rapper, but what he's was, a street what, nigga. What was the song that made DDG pop? When we walk in Calabasas. When did that come out? The remix with Blueface. No, when did that? When we walk in in Calabasas didn't blow up. The remix did. Okay, go to the song. Yup. I love this part. But here's the thing. No, that's not. Here's Moon the thing. Walking in Calabasas didn't blow up DDG. No. As a rapper? As a rapper? Fuck is we talking about? As a rapper. That's As a rapper. What was the song that blew up? Can we go to the can we go to the can we go to the song? What yeah. is him blowing up? Yeah. What yeah. does him blowing up as a rapper yeah. mean anyway? Because you're stupid. Nigga. <laughs> you too, bro. Two years ago. What's that? August twenty second. And uh, and let's talk about it, right? I'm gonna be honest. Name a song. What what are we doing? Name a song that blew up as soon as it came out. Name a song. DDG is a new artist. DDG just started rapping. 
prior to. Blueface was Blueface did not blow up DDG as a rapper. We what not talking about him blowing up as a rapper mean. Yo, what does him blowing up as a rapper mean? Are you dumb? Nah, because niggas can't answer the question. So. Because I just said no, no one in the hood is watching YouTube. No one in the that's hood is watching. The, you. That's not. Yo, the, that's stop not interrupting me on, and bro. get an answer, bro. No one in the hood is a watching a YouTuber that is made for college students. They're all college dropouts. Who cares? What does that mean? That means nobody was watching him. Nobody was watching so him. Nobody was watching him. Nobody was watching I'm gonna him. Keep it, I'm going to keep, keep it 100 with you. DG blew up four years ago. Off what? Off of the song. What song? It's called Arguments. No one knows arguments. But that that's sound, not. No, 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 no. Hold no, on, hold on. But that sound. Wait, that, 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 no. that song allowed him to get signed. Y'all not answering. So the you're, question. you're, no, no, no. You're talking about the wrong things. Yeah. Just because, saying. no, no. Just because a song allows you to get signed, does that mean that you are in the mainstream? Okay. What was the song? But, what was the song that would allow him to be around O2 Genesis? Mr. Coco. What was the song that was allowed? Okay. That was hey, allowed? Wait, 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 wait. No, no. You just answer the question. You just answer the question. I've been no, trying to get an answer tell me. To. I said, you, wait, listen, pause, pause, pause. Tell, no. Pause, Shut the pause. fuck up. You just answer. Tell me what the song you're is. Just, I'm, trying to, no, I'm trying, trying to give you. No, I don't want you to talk. Bro. I want him to talk. <laughs> look, look. No. You just tell, said, hey, you just said, what was the I'm, song? Hey, bro. No, no, bro. Don't twist none of my shit, nigga, because I'm telling you the real point. What was the song that would allow DDG to be around OT Genesis? Was that not the question you're trying to ask? Understand, this is an A and B conversation. See your way oh, out of really? it. Oh, really? Oh, really? Continue, because you're glazing. Continue. Nah, nigga, you are. <laughs> Continue. Show me, tell me what the song is. Mainstream success. Look. No, no. Tell me what his mainstream success is. Because anybody can get a deal, bro. Anybody can sign a deal. A YouTuber. YouTubers are trying to, are make, I, are trying to make I money, see? bro. No, I want him to tell me. It's crazy, because even... What is, even, what is the song before Moonwalking and Calabasas? Because I didn't hear about DDG as a rapper until Moonwalking in Calabasas. Did you hear about DDG, the YouTuber, before Moonwalking in Calabasas? Bro, we talking about street Answer niggas, bro. Question. You talking about OT Genesis, bro. Half of the industry is street as hell. You think they was watching DDG? You think they was up on DDG arguments? Look, look, can I, can I, can I talk now? Is DDG is a YouTuber... Making bread off of YouTube, meaning that he is plugged in no, he's with not. people no, in he's not. YouTube. No, he's not. Oh, 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 oh. He's plugged in with people with YouTube. He's okay. plugged in with people on okay. YouTube. Right. People know people know people know people. But but so, if people know people, people know people, people know people, OT Genesis ain't ain't know you people, nigga. LT is from LA. DDG stay well, lives in LA. LA. Huh? Do you think OT would know Black Youngster? Who is that? Another Black street rapper? Youngster? Yeah. That's another street rapper? Yeah. Why? Oh, okay. A dude from the streets? Oh, okay. Yeah. So I think he would know I think he would know another street rapper. So I think he would know another street rapper. Look, look. Have you ever been to have you ever been to an entertainment with, party? He got a song with her. Have you ever been to Black Youngster? Look, okay, but, now this. Like, what does that mean though? Look. What look. no no, what does that mean though? Because because this is a YouTuber. Here's an example. Here's an example. This is a YouTuber. That has money to play with. Here's an example. You think they think he got personal relationships? Here's an example. Don't don't do rolling, no fan perspective. Rolling loud. You think that he has personal relationships with these Bro. features? Do you think that he has personal relationships with these features? Just because he got money. Rolling loud. Rolling loud. Are there other people there besides rappers? Of course. Can other people afford tickets to get in there besides rappers? Bro, what are we talking about? You not answering the fact. You not answering the. Give me my iPad back. You not answering the fact, bro. You not answering the fact. You not answering the fact. What's that, bro? The fact is, do you think that just because you pay for a feature, you have a personal relationship with that rapper? Y'all nigga, you discussing some shit that don't matter, bro. He just told me that people know people. That people know people. He had heard. He had a herd feature. He had a black youngster feature, and he was gonna use that as the people that know people. That people might know people. So I'm telling you, do you think that these people just because you buy a feature, you have a personal relationship? The rest of the even the topic I'm trying to bring up, niggas just going hard. Yeah, yeah. Continue with that narrative, bro. Continue with that narrative, bro. Because I laid out all the facts, bro. I don't have to sit. I don't have to sit here and cap every question I prop. Every question I prop. What you do? You ask your question back at me. If you're a source, answered my question. Right, look, look. So yeah, my source. Question, let, let me tell you about my I source. I said my source was DDG. Let me tell you, you my source. source was AD. Let me tell you my source. My source was AD talking on academic stream to the chat niggas. 
And there was people like boom inside of the chat saying every single word you're saying out of your mouth. And guess what? At the end of the stream, they all shut up because AD came in. Oh, <laughs> so so it's glazing. It's glazing because it's glazing because. You, you don't like what's being said right now. That's why it's glazing. Nah, nigga, That's you just your first instinct. Too hard, bro. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I feel like I feel like you need to get off. I feel like you need to get off. I feel like you need to get off. I, I, no, 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 no. No, I'm sitting here and I'm being very okay, real, bro. Talking about now, bro. No, 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 we don't no, agree, no. We don't nah, agree. bro. We don't agree. We don't I, bro, agree. I'm giving you the car facts where it's you're people. Not nah, car facts, shut up. Car I'm trying facts. to tell you what's really going on, bro. You're giving me AD's perspective. AD's perspective, bro. Go watch the stream with Boom talking about it. Go watch DDD and then and then we can talk. So I so look, I I tell you that academics, the person that is giving all the facts to the entire industry. Had, had literally went and reneged on everything that he says. But go watch DDG. DDG is going <laughs> to... <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> oh, you lying. <laughs> yo. Uh, yo. 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 Hey, hey, bro. Hey, you, you, hey, you, 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 <laughs> yo, 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 you gonna keep talking, you gonna keep talking that shit about, you gonna keep talking about DDG this, DDG this, DDG this, bro. Bro, oh. put the lollipop down. Oh, fuck. I'm just telling you right now, bro. I gave you the car facts, bro, and you still arguing. I might as well be talking to a brick wall and telling it to breathe. You ain't giving me car facts, bro. I told you where I got. I told you know why. You know why I got off the no jumper point was because you you said because you gave the you gave Adam's perspective and you gave Almighty's perspective. Those was two people involved in the whole story, bro. Now if I gave Flacco's perspective about the whole Almighty situation, but we talking his about we talking don't about mean shit, yo. Nigga. I'm talking about academics. Boom and AJ were all. I was watching it with my own eyes, bro. They was all talking like you. They was going in on AD. They was going in on OT Genesis. You clown. You bully. You lame. And then they said, you know what? Academics, call AD in here right now. Let's stop talking about him and let's ask him these questions. And let's really know what's up. They fact checked it Again. in his presence. So you calling academics a, a, a dick, a dick eater? You calling Boom a dick eater? You call AJ a dick eater? Yo, no, the only hey, dick eater man. I see is you, bro. Hey, man. Let's go on to the next topic because I, I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't either. I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't, I can't bro. Over, Yo, you should be ashamed of yourself. Right, Anyways, guys. look. Look. Ali. Lottie. <laughs> <laughs> Ali Lottie. <laughs> Ali Lottie. Yo. 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 My nigga right here, for DDG, you a munch. Nah, nigga, you was going away. You a munch. You a munch. You a munch. You a munch. And you put the You a munch. You was riding. You thought he was feeling you? You ain't made no point. You thought he was feeling you? You ain't made no point. You thought he was feeling you? You just said. You thought he was feeling you? Everybody I'm talking about is telling the truth. You thought he was feeling you? That nigga on munch. Come on now. Come on now. Yo. Yo. Ali Lottie got gifted a watch from Juice World. Back back in the past, you feel me? She has a new boyfriend. She's allowed to move on. Ah ha ha. You feel me? But basically what happened was her new boyfriend had the watch on and he made a little video while playing Juice World Burn. Is that shit weird? I feel like he's trying to flex. He's trying to flex. He trying to flex like I got what Juice had. Yeah. Weird. And he's like, he's like, y'all can't never do this. Y'all will never be able nah, to do because this. Because like, like think about it. Like you really, like you really got her watch, and you was like, hey, this, 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 it. <laughs> we got him. <'em. laughs> we got him. <'em. laughs> That's wild. I ain't gonna hold you. 
I think I think I think that's cool to for her to do whatever she want to do. But yeah, it, this is a W for for dude. I don't even know his name. It's a W for dude and an L for Lottie. Lottie is twenty eight. I think bro is about eighteen. Yo, if the world was reversed, they would call the man a predator. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. No one says it because it's a W. Oh wow, bro, they got photos. Ali Lottie looks like the teacher that's predator that's a predator on this. <laughs> Ali Lottie looks like she's she's in college messing with she's a college professor messing with her freshman. Yo. I'm just saying. W for dude. I'm just saying. L L L L the freshman messing with my professor. Right. Big W. Big W for the guy. P. But you know what happens when you when when he gets tired? Oh, she's addicted. Can't can't get enough. Oh yeah, valid. And and now he's like, man, what the fuck? Like, I'm going to the police to get you away from me. Guess what? Now you're in jail. Should never. You should have never been. Should have never been fucking with me underage. <laughs> you should have never been a predator. All right, you know what I'm saying, Ali Lottie, you're weird. But I heard that only fans is busting my subscribe. Uh, anyways, let's... <laughs> yo, hey, let's go on to the next little topic. Um, Atlantic Records is using Don Tolliver, Lil Uzi, Money Man, Roddy Rich, A Boogie, artists as such, and they're they're boosting their streams with fake bots. Uh, are you guys even surprised that nah. that they're having fake fake I, plays nah, in the industry? I'm not, I think this world is fake. I think everything about it, as long as you got the capital behind it, the the masses not gonna see it. Talk to them. The masses are not gonna see it. Talk to them. Cause so, yeah, go ahead. But basically, at the end of the day, like people aren't aware of the things that happen in this world and the bots. When we see shit, how many of Yeet, Yeet's plays are bots? We don't we don't know because he had real organic reach off of TikTok. So we thought, yo, he was a label orchestrated industry plant. Like Lil Nas X. Yo, they picked up a lot of these guys still trying to make waves on SoundCloud and said, yo, here's a bag. We got the algorithm on lock. We're about to make it feel like you came out of the blue. But you know one artist. There's only one artist out there right now. Ooh. His name is NBA Youngboy. <laughs> the bots don't lie. <laughs> the bots. <laughs> that boy, NBA Youngboy. What else? <laughs> he really <laughs> like that. <laughs> Glazing, brother. He really like that. Glazing, brother. Yeah. Yeah, what are you, 4K Trey? <laughs> hey, look. I got nothing else to comment. I don't. I don't. I don't care for uh, NBA young boy talk. But he, you know what I'm saying. He's doing well. He's rich. Can't hate on a young. Can't hate on a young black man. You know what I'm saying. Even if his mask killed Von. You know what I'm saying. But this this fan talk. Fan talk. This is fan talk. I'm just entertainment. Entertainment. That's all. Only entertainment. Yeah. Only entertainment. I I I could care less. Mm-hmm. I, I listen. I used to listen to Young Boy, but you know, once you listen to three albums, they all sound alike, and I'm not staying. You know what I'm saying? I still I still play the first like three, four, five projects from him. Still got him in rotation. But all the new stuff, you know, I'm, I'm not young boy drops every week. I don't, I don't care. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? No. He has hits. That's all I care about. Right. So we're gonna move on. Um well before I move on, I do wanna touch base on this. Yo, if you got money, you can make anything happen. If you got capital, you can make anything happen. Facts. Facts. Okay. Um, now we're just gonna move on to the next topic, which is uh, Kanye twenty twenty four. Who y'all voting for? Kanye. <laughs> yeah. Ask me. Who? Trump. I was gonna say that too. Nah, I'm voting for Trump. Kanye West for VP. <laughs> nah, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. If I was voting, I would vote for Trump. But uh, I'm not voting. Why? Because Sleepy Joe has been ruining our states. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that, was a, like, that, was a, hey. that wasn't a real joke. You know what I'm saying? Wait, okay, all right. I'll tell you why. Sleepy Joe. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, like, anyways, um, yo, when Trump was up, uh, he was elected. I don't care all the other stuff that came with it. But, yo, I was paying $2 a gallon. 
I was paying two dollars to get gas. I feel like let's be honest. I got I got a I got loans. I got loans from the government. I feel like you know? let's. I feel like let's be honest. I feel like the 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 huge the before the pandemic. When Trump was elected, I feel like the massive was in groupthink and they didn't even know what politics was. Mm-hmm. When they had Hillary and Trump. Okay. I feel like, well, majority of us was too young to vote. Exactly. And they w- it really wasn't even tapped into politics. Last time I watched politics was when Obama got elected. That's because he's black. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So I went, I went to school. I was in school. They put it on the TV. All of us, we sat, we sat down. <laughs> we ate our popcorn. We saw this man get inducted. We said the first black <laughs> president. You feel me? <laughs> they wasn't trying to break the grounds with the first female president. Clearly. Too progressive. To, clearly. So they seen, they seen, they seen Trump. He got elected. Oh, shit. Shit about to, you know what happened? All the, all the white tees came out and they was like, hey, I show my support. But realistically, they was doing all that because they was they was tapped in. They was tapped into the politics. But now, you got us as an older generation and we like, oh shit, we tapped into the politics. And now we thinking for ourselves. Yeah. But last election... It we was like we, we gotta get this. Yo, one. yo, we we thought we thought that Trump was the reason for COVID. No, COVID was gonna happen because of the. Let me not. Let me not even do this. Let me not even do this. <laughs> I'm not Nick Wentes. I'm not Sneeko. I'm not any of these bad people. I'm moving on to the next conversation. <laughs> so hey, uh, COVID started where? Huh? COVID started where? I don't know. <laughs> I don't condone anything he's talking about. I, for the record, don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> this thing. <thing. laughs> I, 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 I. Believe in everything. <laughs> I, I don't. I'm not. I'm not. If you can't, if you can't talk about those people, and you can talk about that, you're crazy. Yeah, I'm not gonna say that either. <laughs> we all know who those people are. Anyways, let's go on to the next uh, topic. Uh, Balenciaga. It's crazy. This going to probably flag. But... You gonna have to. You gonna have to bleep that. You gonna have to bleep that. Bleep, 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 bleep. And and a, this is uh, whole thing. <laughs> nah, they gonna get the understanding from the topic of what we're about. Yeah, to just say we. You said yeah. Balenciaga, and that was it. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. Oh. so. I mean, look, Kanye was right about people being controlled. Kanye was right about the other issues. I'm not here to talk about what Kanye was wrong for. I, Wait, I, I, about? I feel like those kids at the at the table <laughs> talking about play more cardi ish. <laughs> like I really think it was a good next tape that he tried. <laughs> all right, all I'm saying um, is. Look, Balenciaga. Hello. Oh, you know what's so crazy? You want to know who else pays attention to kids at the table? <laughs> Go ahead. Yo. Um, um, you know what was actually very crazy, though? What? The minute this Balenciaga story came out, uh, they also started this smear campaign again on Kanye, saying that he showed his wife's photos that were inappropriate he did this, he did this, he did this. And there was an article that came out of Rolling Stone. And everyone picked up this article about uh, Adidas looking into the investigation of what Kanye was doing and a mistrust and all this and this and this. And that picked up steam. And, and Balenciaga's steam went down. And no one addressed it until yesterday night when Kim K said, I, I wanted to give Balenciaga some time so we can talk. But you didn't want to give your husband? But, okay, this, nah, this oh, is, no, 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 no. The father of your children? Now, this, this is a point that I want to talk about because I talked, I told you about it. If someone like Kanye, if your wife is the pinnacle of uh, a sex symbol, corruption, a sex symbol, and you at, and you at work, God you're talking about. and she. She has a tape out. She has images out. 
if I'm at work and I'm showing y'all the images, yeah, you can feel uncomfortable. I'm not saying they can't feel uncomfortable, but I'm Kanye. This shit already public view. Let's so, be honest. hey, look at my wife right now. That's a nice narrative. Yeah. That's not me. That's not me acting inappropriate. That's just me showing you what's already out there. That, that's a nice narrative you're spewing. But who's to say that none of this actually happened? You know, what did happen was what we saw on the Kanye doc. That's what we did see. I didn't hear nobody in that Kanye doc say, Ew, that's Kim. You're doing so foul. Nope. I mean, it wasn't Kim, but... It wasn't, and that's all that we need to know. So, what more can I say? I have to say is... I feel like we're talking about the same thing, just the way you presented the whole point felt very anti, but I feel... I guess we're going to move on. That was a quick thought. I thought. I mean, we. I, I feel like we didn't really discuss what, yeah, what happened. We, I, yeah, we good. We good. Anyway, ba- let's, ba- let's, let's crazy. Yeah, let's, uh, we, yes, we good. That's we crazy. Good. Balenciaga. Um, yo, also, uh, another thing, bro, it was a Balenciaga store in Dubai that always is, like, packed. And last night on a Sunday, which is their most busiest day, they had nobody in there. Mm. Would you say it's yeah. normally packed like a school bus? <laughs> <laughs> this is a good <laughs> Yeah. Let's move on. Um... <laughs> So you guys are in control of the editing. So I don't think it's... Anyways, <laughs> hey, y'all familiar with Charleston White? Yeah. Okay, so basically he was in an interview with a Chicago DJ, and um, he pulled out that Blickiana and almost had a, you know, he almost took a, you know, just like how the people that he condemns, he did exactly. What he did, he, the people that he condemns, he looked just like them in this interview. Unarmed man, he came to press him. And look, minus, this is the thing that they didn't talk about. That interview was in Houston. You can have a gun. You can have a gun. It was in Houston or Chicago? No, it was in Houston. So why were there so many Chicago people in Houston? They traveled okay. to go to Charleston White. Okay. But you, let's, let's talk about it. Charleston White wouldn't have made it out alive if he tried that in Chicago. Now, this is my point, okay? The Chirac demons would have came out from the pits of hell and ripped up his soul and ate it on what, a blood moon. What I what I call what Charles and White did was... <laughs> hey, both of these niggas? <laughs> hey. Both of these niggas? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. These niggas. What Charles and White did was called negativity of the week. This man <laughs> pulled out the blicky... In an interview. Now, I'm going to di- dive into the thought process of why someone would even do that, right? He's having an interview with people from Chicago. Now, if you not from Chicago, you would know. It's hard because I'm trying to say this from the perspective of someone not from Chicago, but we from Chicago. But if you not from Chicago, you think Chicago crazy as hell. So, so Chicago people come to do an interview with you. This man think that old block Soldiers now are going to question. interview with him, so he got the blick on him just in case these Chicago people nah, nah. act like Chicago. He know he know them that he know them not the real demons. He know them not the real savages. If he did, then why he pull it out then? Charleston White is just is a gun is a proud gun owner in Texas. You so that's why out. he pulled it out. You can you can. It's not a crime. Did you saw the clip? Yeah, it's not a crime. The well, conversation. Well, the conversation did. was. He said, "Hey, if you you if you gonna say this about some people, don't say this about some people. Don't say this about." He some said, people. "You can't tell me what you can't exactly. tell me. You so can't tell me what to do." He started to he started to bug up. He started to bug up. He started to geek himself up. Real manic behavior. He started to geek himself up but, to the point where he went to go get the gun. He said, "You can't tell me what to say. You can't tell me what to why say. Why do you think? Leave it at that. Why do you he think said, no one pressed him? Huh?" Why do you think no one pressed him, though? What do you mean? No one in the room was able to press him. They tried to calm him down. They tried to de-escalate it. Yeah. No one pressed him. he kept escalating himself. No, I'm saying... Look, you say that people don't think that this, this, and this. First of all, if you in Chicago and you do that, I don't, give, I don't care what the narrative is. If you in Chicago, you should do that. Yo, if you in Chicago, you can't do that. But what I'm saying is, I'm telling you right now, in you in Chicago, he started to feel himself. Yo, you've never, you've never even seen an interview where anyone in Chicago has ever even reacted like that. You gonna shoot the interviewee? 
No, what I'm you saying shoot is, that, yeah, yeah. okay. My my real point is Charleston. He 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 got mad. He got mad in that moment that uh, bro told him what he can and can't say. So then he started getting scared. He started getting. He no, got started. I don't got, think he, he got, got mad. I don't think and he, then he got scared. Bro, I don't even think he got scared. I think he just was instilling fear in the niggas. Because they're not in they're not in their city. I'm telling you right if now. If that was academics, so how would the story go? Academics is not them. No, 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 no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. And, if it was academics, why would if it was in, academics, in this scenario? And then let me and let me tell you this. Or, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna tell you this. Way. Academics would amplify Charleston White's uh, platform. The minute and on top of this, academics got security. You think I don't security? think you're answering the question I'm trying right. to say. No, what I'm what I'm what I'm really trying to ask <laughs> what I'm re- no, what I'm really trying to ask is this: is if if academics told Charleston, hey, don't speak on those people, don't Charleston, speak on Charleston, those people, and Charleston pulled out the gun, still on academics, right? What? How does that, how does that look? How does that look? We we gonna mourn the loss of a loss, so we can move on. Academics has security. We He's not in a on. room full of uh, uh, full of visitors from out of town. We can move on. Charleston White is doing what he's doing because he's the big dog in the situation. He's the big dog in the situation. Yes. If you're the big dog in the situation, what is the purpose of you bringing out a a uh, a, a, a GTA in an interview? You sound like Roddy Rebel talking about we what Lil Tim <laughs> could do on. to save King Vaughn. Yo. You don't know King Von personally. I and and there was a lot of beef going on recently about uh Young Boy and Bobby Schmurda and Roddy Rebel and all this internet, back and forth internet stuff. And it's like at the end of the day, bro, when you in the streets, bro, if somebody up a pole on you, you gotta use it. So if you flex a nigga, you scare somebody, you gotta understand the situation you in. The fact that Charleston White can up a pole on somebody and nothing nothing happens after that. That means Charleston White is in complete control of the situation. But then, but then it's not like you just argued against what Roddy said. What Charleston White is a man dealing with people in a entertainment field. Lil Tim, Quando Rondo, Queen King Von, Queen Von are all in the streets. No one's no one's facilitating an interview during the time that King Von. Uh, gave so the case of the beats to Quando Rondo. You feel like you need to demonstrate control in an interview? His whole purpose is I can say what I want to say, and if y'all come to me, and I will make sure y'all know not to play with me. That's all Charleston White has been preaching. Play with you how? This is an interview. He just said, fuck everybody from Chicago. He said, fuck. He's been saying, he's he been got preaching. He's scared and pulled out a. He's not, he's not scared. <laughs> He's not scared. He's scared. No, nobody else in the room. My had opinion it. is he's scared, and that's the reason why he pulled Yo, out something. The only way he would, the only way he would be scared is if he was in Chicago, bro. He's not in Chicago. He, has he was around be... people from Chicago, so he got scared. He's not scared. I'm telling you, bro. He's not scared. He had a gun. He got up and went and got a gun. How scared can you be? I'm um, pushed to me. Yo, I mean, your takes are very suburban, so I don't blame you. Um, anyways, <laughs> yeah, if you don't think about the whole scenario, niggas just talk about, yeah, he, he's proactive, done. You just he, compared Charleston White to uh, Roddy Rebel and Lil Tim. No, you one. did. I did? Yeah. I, I didn't compare. I contrasted. I, I told you that the difference were. One was a civilized situation. But in your, one, point, in your point. Okay, continue. <laughs> Rowdy is talking about Charleston. No, he's not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. He's talking about the life that got lost. Dang. And I, I told you, like I said. Bro, how, I so wait, he said he's talking about the life that got lost. Okay. What else? You how do how did he prevent? How do you prevent the life that he got lost? According to Roddy, in the streets or in an interview? <laughs> if you put a gun in an interview and that don't sound crazy, you're crazy. Point blank. Period. If you That's pull out a gun in an interview. The pe- nine times out of ten, the people that you're in an interview with are going to have common sense to understand, yo, he pulled out a gun. We about to back down. This man is crazy. People in the streets? You pull out a gun, nigga, you better use it and kill whoever you pulled it out on. So I don't know why you in here right now trying to apply the same logic of the streets versus an industry capacity. And then you tell me that Roddy Rebel is talking about Charleston White. If you want to talk about black and you want to talk about white, go ahead. But black is not white. Left and my right. 
You feel me? I'm just letting you know that Roddy Rebel is not talking about Charleston White, and those are completely different situations. People, people get killed every day, B. And that ain't because they could have just sat down and had a civil conversation. Because if they did, it wouldn't be that much gun violence. So what are you talking about? Now, if you want an academic show and you pull out a gun on him, you must have a death wish. Or you must be really stupid. Because that is an entertainment nigga. And you shouldn't have no reason to pull out the gun on him. So if somebody's interviewing you, you shouldn't have no reason to pull out the gun on him. And if you do, guess what? We can de-escalate this and we can make sure that we both go home and see our kids at night. But in the streets, I'm already looking to my left. I look to my right. Feel me? I'm, I'm an animal. I'm a beast. I'm hungry. I'm a heathen. I'm a hooligan. I'm a savage. I got no time to spare. I'm just trying to tell you the difference. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you know what I mean? I, I think that's a nice little uh, spot where we're going to end it. Um, longer than expected, but hey, don't ever expect anything. Expect the unexpected, if we're going to be honest. Um, but with that being said, man, I'm Lil Boy Rock. Um, Yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo. Yo, 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 yo. Run that back. Yo. This was another episode of Slime World Podcast, and I'm Love Boy Rock. I'm Mr. Fuck These Brands, aka Yay. And I'm Solo. And this was another conversation that was out this world. Let's go. I'm with Mr. Fuck These Brands. All the rats going on, make a dance. Sipping on a walk, I'm in a trance. Sipping on a walk, I don't need friends. Popping a perk, 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 perk. Trapping on a church, church, church. I'm on a block with a work, work, work. Play with me, won't work, work, work.